it's Dr. Keith Kelly here. And uh, yeah, it's a new year. Uh, it's 2018 and, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's thinking about what they're going to be doing for the next year and uh, planning, you know, um, how their life's going to go. And uh, well, I hope you're doing that because if you if you fail to plan, then you actually plan to fail. So, uh, you know, if you really want to make a success, you need to really write it down, have a clear, concise understanding of where you want to go and then implement it and break it down on a day to day basis of exactly what you want to do to achieve your goal because if you don't do that unfortunately it's like uh, if you want to uh, go somewhere in the car you've got a destination but if you don't sit down with the map chances are you're not really going to get to your destination but talking about uh, a new year we talk always about you know a new uh, you know, turning over a new leaf and making new decisions and uh, planning for the future and uh, you know those great things you know just what am i going to do this year you know, my New Year's resolutions, uh, what might they be? But, you know, before you get ahead of yourself, I think, you know, I like to keep things simple. And literally, if you break your life down, um, what I suggest, um, there's seven basic areas in your life. And I'm sure you would agree with me that um, health is very important. If you're healthy in all areas of your life, then, uh, you know, by definition, uh, for me, that will be success. You know, if you're really healthy in all areas of your life, then you are successful. Don't get me wrong, because uh, in all areas of life, some people are more healthier in certain areas uh, than other areas. Some people have a knack, some people have a gift, and they are, are better in one area in their lives than others. And that's perfectly fine, uh, which is really good. But you can work on all those other small little areas and uh, that's what my challenge for you this year what i want you to do is write those seven areas of your life down so first of all you're looking at your mental health so your mental health is very important you need you, of course you need to make sure you get good food and good sleep and uh, don't burn out basically you know the uh, you know the brain can take in a lot of information and you know process it and everything but just don't burn yourself out just uh, you know look after yourself so mental uh, capacity is very important mental mental health of course uh, mind what uh, what you actually watch what you see what you hear uh, you know let it be healthy healthy stuff for your mind so your mind health is very important so it's mental health second of all it's the the health that we normally think about being physical and uh, you know uh, very very important you know part of that is uh, not gaining too much weight eating the right food having enough water having enough sleep that type of thing but also just working out so literally going for a run or a walk or uh, you know something more exertional whatever fits uh, you know f for you you know everyone's different but you know some kind of bodily activity just uh, at least maybe 30 minutes a day just to keep the body going get the heart pumping the blood to the brain and you know just some kind of activity like that very very important so your physical health is very important um, we can then start talking about things like your financial health. You know, a lot of people stress out because they're really battling with money and they might be in a lot of debt and they've got all these um, financial overheads and commitments. And, you know, it can be very taxing on the brain and on the body and uh, in life in general. So your financial, uh, you know, health is very, very important uh, for a balanced good overall um, healthy lifestyle so um, you know make sure you don't buy unnecessary things make sure you can you know afford things that you've you know paying for of course if you are investing in yourself and you're uh, in courses and things like that which uh, you're going to benefit from uh, it's a very very wise decision but don't go into unnecessary debt that's going to cause too much stress and anxiety and of course uh, if you are looking for an online business where you can make uh, literally loads of uh, extra money and uh, you might want to be getting out of a, a job that you've got then you know i do have a link at the bottom of this uh, video which uh, you know i can help you with that um so um, other areas of our life um vocational health uh, vocational health is basically to do with your vocation or your um, your career uh, your business what you do um, how healthy is that you know is it taking all your time uh, are you putting you know lots of effort into it or, or do you have a, a boss that's just you know asking you to do things which are a little bit unnecessary or overwhelming uh, you know what is the health of your of your business you know of your of your job that you've got uh, that's very important to have a good balance there not to have overwhelm in that area as well and then the next thing we are looking at 
is your spiritual health as well. Spiritual health is very important. Just remember, we are all spiritual beings as well. Um, you know, we were born into this earth, born in the world, and uh, you know, uh, it's uh, we have definitely a um, an inner yearning for a higher being. And uh, I definitely believe in God, and uh, I believe that God is bigger than myself. And it's it gives me comfort to know that I can just um, sit back and relax and realize and um, literally. Um, you know, connect with God and have that t time apart. So you need to spend a bit of time and have that time apart and the quiet time where you can actually connect, um, you know, with uh, with God and, you know, on a more spiritual being because, uh, you know, life is such a bit of a wreck and everything's happening and there's so much bombardment of all sorts of media and social media and all sorts of things that, uh, you know, life gets in the way, life happens. But you really need to take time out in your day just to spend it quietly and reflect, and some people call it meditation, um, others might call it prayer. And the other health we need to look at is uh, family, family health. You know, you might be a great dad or a great mom or a great child in the family, and that's good. Uh, but uh, you, you know, have an obligation to the rest of your family, your immediate family, your wider family, and literally to um, be healthy in that relationship because relationships are so um, delicate and so uh, vital, you know, and very important that, you know, we have good relationships and good health with our family. Those relationships are very, very important. And then, of course, we're looking at the social health, you know, your health, of, you know, the friends that you meet up with and the friends that you associate yourself with. And those are relationships as well. And uh, you need to make sure that that is a healthy balance as well. Very important because, you know, if you want to advance and you want to, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, have self-development and you want to, you know, get somewhere in life if you've got friends uh, in the social you know area that is actually keeping you back sometimes you literally almost have to cut the ties with those friend uh, friends and actually um, associate yourself with um, other people who are more forward thinking or people who really want to get you know somewhere in their life and somebody who will actually encourage you and motivate you uh, for self-development uh, because literally every day we should be learning and we should be um, you know gaining um, a better understanding of ourselves and also learning the, you know, how we can be better on a daily basis so my uh, challenge for you this year as a resolution I would jot down those seven points and then literally make sure that you can try and be as healthy as possible on each individual uh, point there. Um, so even if you do something small, just to you know make a slight increase uh, in efficiency and a, a little bit um, better on every one of those points where the health of that point will be just a little bit more. Because if you do little increments you know, every few days on all of those uh, subjects, in your life then that's uh, a way that you can have a balanced life and a very healthy life and as I said in the beginning um, if uh, you have a really good balance and healthy life of all seven areas of your whole life then that in my opinion is the way to success as I said as well uh, especially on the financial side of things we have programs where you can literally learn uh, what we do to make you know life-changing money click on the link below and we'll help you. So uh, this is Dr. Keith Kelly. Great chatting to you today. And I'll see you uh, in the members area. And all the best for this year. Cheerio.